Hi, I'm Brad Rosley. Welcome to Smart Money. Today we're going to talk about something called exchange traded funds. They're not new, but they, uh, they've only been around for several years. Exchange traded funds are also known as ETFs for short. The acronym is actually backwards. They're actually funds traded on an exchange. If you think of it that way, it'll be easier to remember. Funds as almost like mutual funds traded almost like stocks where on like a stock exchange. Today I'm going to focus on the benefits of ETFs. To help people understand ETFs, think of them as being a lot like mutual funds. Mutual funds offer a large portfolio of investments that is providing the small investor with the opportunity to get great diversification in one single investment. One of the things that people like most about ETFs is that they have a very low cost. They're unmanaged in most cases and they tend to follow an index where the computer programming is a big part of their trading. That keeps the cost way down. Literally may save you a percentage point a year in the internal expenses of your investment. That can add up to a lot of money over time. Because they're computer based and often follow indexes, such as the S&P 500 for example, they have very low turnover and that's part of the reason their expenses are so low. Another factor that a lot of people like is their transparency. They have to show investors online what their holdings are on a much more frequent basis than mutual funds do. Traders also like the fact that ETFs are traded intraday unlike mutual funds. So mutual funds, if you put an order in to buy or sell your mutual fund before 3 o'clock central time, 4 o'clock eastern time, that order is placed and traded at the end or the close of the market. They figured out what the price of the mutual fund is at the close and that's the price the buyer or seller gets. With an ETF, it's traded just like a stock on the exchange. You get the buyer and seller matched up instantaneously and you get your price. So say for example, you want to get out, the market's crashing, whatever market you're in, and you want to get out before it bottoms out, you could sell out at 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock or 9 o'clock and be out at that moment, potentially missing a further decline in your investments. The same thing would go if you wanted to buy on a big dip during the day. You could buy in at that time you put your order in and get that moment's price. You can also trade this like a stock, ETF set is, that can be bought with limit orders, stop limit orders. You can even buy it on margin and you can short sell these positions. Now those are sophisticated trading techniques that are not for everybody, but again, for the person that is in that space, it's a big advantage as compared to traditional mutual funds. The last big advantage and benefit I'd like to talk about, which is a big one, is the variety that these ETFs have. They have ETFs for every type of security you can imagine, which are especially interesting in things like the commodity markets, the metals markets. They even have ETFs that are designed to buy low volatility securities or securities that do very well when the different markets do poorly. Lastly, the taxes are a little different. Mutual funds, by rule, have to pay out the capital gains as they net them each calendar year. So oftentimes in December of every year, if your mutual fund had large capital gains, the mutual fund shareholders are stuck paying a large capital gain on the distribution that's paid out by the mutual fund. With the exchange traded funds, the main time you're going to pay a, a capital gain is when you sell them at a gain. So the ETFs are not required to pay out the capital gain as they go. So I find that to be a very effective way to manage your taxes from your successful investments. I'm writing a blog on exchange traded funds and these benefits I'm talking about here. You can also subscribe to my channel, Smart Money, to follow me and get these new posts as they come out as I try and educate you to be a smart money investor. Thanks a lot for listening again today. Have a great day.